So my husband and I have lived in Midland 27 years. We have two children, a 23-year-old and a 19-year-old, and they both went all through public school and graduated. So I married a girl from uh, Midland, uh, Christine, and so she's been here all, her whole life. Um, and so, you know, we've got uh, three kids. We've got one that just graduated last year from Midland High. Uh, I've got a sophomore, just finished up her sophomore year, and I've got a, uh, a boy that just finished up his seventh grade year. So all three are, you know, public school kids. I want Midland kids to have the best education that we can give them. I think they deserve that, and I think that we should support our kids and teachers enough to give them that. And um, and I think that's going to require some facilities, some new facilities. One of the things that people look at if they're if they're looking to move here, if you're trying to attract high quality individuals to that that aren't from Midland, you know, didn't grow up in West Texas, uh, and they want to, you know, you're, when we're trying to attract them to live here in, in Midland. Uh, schools are one of the first things you're going to look at, you know, is the quality of education. And I, I want them to have the best that we can give them. You know, I want, I, I want us to support our teachers. I want us, I want them to feel the support that they deserve and to, to help them do the best job they can. It's a good diverse group. I mean, you've got business people, uh, you've got men and women from business, you've got teachers, uh, we've got principals, uh, and we've got uh, MISD administrators. And so it's been good to get everybody's different perspectives of you know, where MISD is, uh, what our needs are. We looked at some newer facilities in other cities and visited with them about uh, things that they had done to their schools in the planning stages. That was extremely helpful as well and exciting. It was really exciting to see some of those things and the possibility that we could bring or possibly have some of those things in our city. We had met for quite a while and we were mainly there to, to talk about capacity uh, and to look at, at look at projections of students. You know, if, if we stay on the same growth path that we've been on, how many students are going to be here and in what grade levels? So I think the challenge is to find the most pressing needs to determine the most pressing needs and then to relay that to the community so that they understand what the needs are and that they can make an informed decision.